Hi, everyone. I'm Christine Tully, President and Executive Writing Coach at Defend, Publish, and Lead, and welcome to Episode 126, The June Cleanup. At the time I'm recording this, it is June of 2023, and in previous episodes, I mentioned some of my, my May push to get some writing completed, um, especially before my children get out of school for the end of the academic year. And just for me, May is a really productive month because it's the end of the semester. I finished teaching myself and I've got some time that I could get some other work done uh, before my own children get out of school and then I'm at home with them for part of the summer. Um, but in this episode, I also wanna acknowledge what actually happens in June. So while I'm, I'm recording this a few weeks early, so I'm hoping May will still be very productive, but sometimes what happens is in May, I do get a fair bit of writing done but I let everything else go. And so what that means is that June is a little bit of a disaster zone because I haven't really cleaned up or closed out my spring semester. So I'm gonna give a little example here. I just took this screenshot right now. So you'll actually get to see me, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can actually see where I took the screenshot. But for those of you listening on audio, I'm just taking a picture of what the desktop uh, wallpaper, well, I guess we'd call it like the desktop screen of my computer looks like right now. So I'm sharing a snip I took two seconds ago, and what's on the screen? Um, people that are people that are watching it on YouTube are probably uh, a little bit horrified, or maybe you're laughing because yours looks the same way. Um, I spent probably 10 minutes closing all the windows I had open, and I still had like 10 left. And then I had I was starting to see the background of my wallpaper on my desktop and all the temporary files I have stored there. So I've mentioned this before, and I like to use a, um, a program called Fences for desktop organization. On this particular laptop, I've been extremely lazy. This is, this is one that I use for work, and I haven't put fences on this one. I have it on my one for Defend and Publish, but on this particular one, I, I, there's, there's documents all over the laptop. I have random screenshots. I have a budget report I turned in a couple of weeks ago. Plus, I have a bunch of windows still open. It's a mess. It's really a mess. And so um, I tend to like to clean up my desktop on long flights. That's like one of my, my things to do. Um, I've mentioned I do some travel over in London. And, you know, that is like an ideal time for me to just knock out cleaning all the desktops up, remaking, you know, folder names, making it look all tidy, closing windows, stuff like that. Um, but I also, I'm not traveling at the moment. Well, I am, but not, not in that kind of a way where I have that dedicated time. And I know I can't leave it like this for a desktop. So this seems like a little minor thing, but I think it does affect our writing productivity because what I'm starting to find is now, I know I have a draft of something that I need to turn in and I've got good storage spaces for publications, but the other leg works. So for example, um, maybe a conference res registration form or that abstract that I submitted six months ago, where did that go? Things like that that are more small level things that I, they're not going in a dedicated project for a writing program or a writing project because I only need them for a short period of time all that stuff is still sticking on screen. I also have a whole bunch of screenshots of things for various presentations or classes that I'm doing, which is also what you see on there. Um, you know, there's just a whole bunch of junk on this. On this, And so for me, and I'm going to stop sharing. So we actually, uh, for those of you watching on YouTube, don't have to be blinded by all my, my documents everywhere. Um, but for me, I just started thinking in June, I do try to give myself a hard deadline that this mess has to be cleaned up because I definitely do not want to start the next academic year with my desktop looking like that, with my all my tabs open on my computer, all that kind of stuff. So that's one of the things that I'm going to do. And in my mind, I usually just set it as June 15th. If I, you know, kind of mid the mid marker of June, all that stuff's got to go. It all has to be like all the screenshots have to be deleted, all those windows have to be closed. I actually have to shut my computer off and let it restart and let all those updates run, all that kind of stuff. So I always call it like the June cleanup. It's on my calendar every year and I kind of forgot I was doing it. And then I saw a reminder that it was coming up because I do have like monthly reminders too. And so I saw that I'm recording this in mid-May and I saw that you know this was there. Um, but one of the things that that I also do with the cleanups that I think is is helpful at this point is I also try to think of a way to kind of close out my spring classes. So what I mean by that is, of course, I've logged my grades, I've returned feedback to students and all that kind of stuff. 
but I have a bunch of random things related to those classes. Some of it is saved on my desktop, but some of it is in other places. So for example, I know there was an article that I wanted to recommend to students that I discovered one day when I was sitting in a car pickup line. It's in my notes on my phone. I've got another video that's linked somewhere in an email that I like showing that this particular class, someone recommended it to me. I was lazy. I never got it out of the email and I showed it live during class just from my email. I never even put it in that class to use the next time. So like all those little things that are just clean up things that have to happen, I'm gonna actually go ahead and put them in my course, but also make a quick Word document. And if I've got like any kind of like, notes, pictures, links, anything, I'll call that, you know, spring 2023, English 507, and then drop that in my English 507 folder for that class. So at least I've got it somewhere. And that way I can close the loop on that, make sure that I'm not just totally taxed out thinking about what I'm doing with this class. And that way I don't have to dig for it again, because at least with some of my classes, I only teach them every other year. So I have to make sure that they're in a place where they're accessible for me to have again. So a third thing that I do that's part of a cleanup, um, I know I've mentioned cleaning out my office and I've also mentioned that didn't go quite well for me. I made a very optimistic episode a while ago when I was first working on this podcast about cleaning out my office. I still haven't done that. And I'm, you know, I, it is going to be on the list. I still need to do it. And if you are lucky enough to have an office, uh, the pandemic kind of hurt how most of us use our offices. You either couldn't access it or you could just throw things in there. Mine's a disaster. I'll just suffice it to say that. But one thing that I am going to do as a more realistic cleanup project in that department is I do want to get in there and just kind of eyeball the books I have in there, the materials I have in there, and just kind of do a top level, we'll call it a cleanup, it's not really going to be a cleanup, but basically a top level look where if I've got some recycling, I'm going to throw that stuff in, you know, in the bin, get those piles off my desk. Um, look around for books. And it, what I'm doing there is I'm just kind of eyeballing, like, am I still using these books when I teach? Is there somebody else that wants them? Um, I have some new books that I've used for the purpose I needed them for, but I don't need to keep them in my office. So I've actually donated many of them to my university library because I don't, I don't need them anymore. I don't really, and I'd rather that they're there, they're accessible, the grad students can use them, but they also can be out on Ohio Link. Other professors can use them since we have an interlibrary loan system at my institution, um, but just stuff like that. And I know that is not gonna move the needle on actually cleaning up that office, I know that. But I know for me, if I have some of the things out of there and it's just not, you know, it's just not quite as overwhelming to look at, I think that will be useful. Um, one final thing that I'm also going to do in there is every year I do recruitment for my graduate program. And you might have something like a committee you're on or something that just generates a lot of stuff that is stashed in your office or in your home. I know for me, all those recruitment materials, so all the little comment cards and the pens and the folders and things like that that we use when I go out face-to-face -face recruiting, all that stuff by the end of the year, because I've visited so many schools for that, I just have a big box that I just keep flinging in the extras after I'm finished. I am gonna get a grip on what that box looks like so I can see ahead of time, hey, I'm gonna need 20 more folders, 40 more folders, you know, that kind of stuff. So you may not be doing any kind of physical activity that you've got physical supplies that you need to organize, um, but for those of us that do, I just, for me, because I know I've got to start recruiting again in August, so I've got to make sure everything is in there. Um, I know that will be another focus for me, just so when I'm ready to grab stuff, I can grab it, go, and I'm I'm ready to roll. So I don't, I you know, I encourage you on Twitter or on LinkedIn, if you're following us there under Defend, Publish, and Lead, to post up some of the things that you're doing in June to get a June cleanup going. I just decide I'm kind of going for things that are bothering me the most, but are going to make the most difference. So for example, I know when I look at my desktop, when I see 80 screenshots of stuff I don't even need the screenshot for anymore, like receipts and all that. I know for me, that's just kind of a a mental weight. And also I'm noticing it's really affecting my productivity. And I would argue even in writing productivity, because if I, you know, I'm in the middle of trying to find something and I want to insert a screenshot, maybe into some conference slides. If I've got a hundred screenshots and, you know, 90 of them are old receipts for, you know, healthcare flex funds, 
I, I, I don't even name them the right thing. They're named all these crazy titles, whatever the SNP tool names them. So I know for me, that is a lot of mental load and digging. And I know I am wasting time trying to find things. So for me, a June cleanup is essential, but I encourage everybody to, to share what they might be doing to kind of get things under, under control in your office, either at home or wherever your writing space is. So if you want to share those on Twitter or on LinkedIn, even put some pictures out there. If I get a grip on what's happening with mine, I'll do the same and happy writing this week.